Hey everybody, welcome back to another beer review behind the bar. Uh, beer review number 17 this evening. Um, wanted to check out uh, another beer from, I'm taking a little bit of a break from them for a little bit, but I figured it's time to go back to Treehouse. Just got some Treehouse in the mail today. Um, from Leo, if he happens to watch these videos. Thank you very much, Leo. Um, but today we're going to check out something a little different, kind of a session beer um, from Treehouse. It's their Eureka. It's American Blondale made with uh, citra hops, and we all know how I feel about citra hops. Um, I think my buddy Joe and I's um, obsession with citra hops knows no bounds on our beer reviews. So um, we're actually going to check it out. I've actually had this beer once before, but as Treehouse tends to do, their beers have kind of changed a little bit over time. Uh, Haze being a good example of a beer I didn't like as much as I love the newer versions of it. They're really dialing it in. So um, this one I just got in today. This was canned on 8815. I actually really like the fact that they are testing a, a date. Um, a date machine or however they do that um, so they're dating their cans now which is awesome um, I'll miss getting my fun notes um, on the ones that I've gotten before but without further ado let's pour it in the glass and see what we think pours out that traditional treehouse haze um, can't see light through that at all um, kind of just a really light yellow color it almost looks like lemonade um, to me um, but yeah just a really light kind of straw yellow um, like I said reminds me of lemonade um, good carbonation I mean didn't pour it very aggressive got a good finger had some big soapy bubbles in there um, but tight all the way around other than that um, just a great I mean kind of a great looking um, treehouse beer so um, let's see what it smells like yeah just <sighs> citra hops for days like just huge tropical fruits like peach like really sweet peach almost like peach candy like orange oranges peach like some mango in there pineapple just kind of that typical that citrus just that, that that you get from those citra hops just huge i mean it's all hops there is definitely some sweetness there i think from the malt kind of that bready um malt like cracker crackery um smelling malt but a little bit of dankness in there too. I get something like a little green, almost like a, um, like a wet grass kind of an aroma. Just something a little kind of herbal, um, and then just like almost like a juicy fruit bubble gum. I think um, I've, I've heard a lot of people describe some of the, the gumminess of treehouse beers. I'm definitely picking it up in this one, which I don't. I actually had this beer, like I said, a few months ago, and I remember really liking it, but I don't remember actually that element of it. Regardless, it smells delicious. Um, it, it, we'll, we'll dig in here, and, and I just, you know, this is a session beer, so 4.1%, 4, 4 so I'm curious to see just kind of the, you know, from Treehouse and their mouthfeel um, and, and things, one of the things they're kind of known for and how that translates into something like this that's just kind of, I mean, basically the equivalent of a session IPA. I mean, at least what I'm getting from the, the nose on this, I'm assuming it's going to have a pretty big um, hot presence and, and a similar malt backbone to it, so I'm curious how that translates. Um, so, without further ado, let's dig in. Uh, Leo, thanks again. Cheers. Yeah, that's... That's really good. Um, the, the citra carries over uh, onto the tongue instantly. Right up front, I, right up front, I actually kind of get a little bit of the malt. Um, the, some of that crackery, just kind of bready malt, and then it kind of goes straight into the hops. And I'm pulling out the the, the mango, um, big on this mango grapefruit, um, grapefruit peel, maybe some orange peel. Um, I'm, I'm picking up big, big in this one, but still with some dankness too. I mean, the de you're definitely getting some a little bit of bitterness on the finish um, on the back of my tongue. It's it's kind of right there, um, and that dankness is there as well. This is this is a killer drinking 4.1 percent beer. It, American Blonde, uh, you know, I just I think it's just kind of their session version of an IPA. If you look at the way Treehouse makes their IPAs and just that that really light just there for body and to support the hops kind of malt theory i think um the way they handle their malts has carried over into this and you know just a, a little bit lesser amount but still gives it great body on this beer i mean this is a good medium mouthfeel great carbonation 
I mean, this is definitely not. I would not. I would not imagine this is four point one percent. This is you know some of those session IPAs. Um, I don't actually even really like to drink them. I'm not a big fan of stones. Um, I, I like Penner from Oscar Blues a decent amount. It's got a lot of grapefruit to it, and I like that quite a bit. But a lot of them just try and hop the crap out of them um, to just make it seem like an IPA and a low ABV, and I just hate that. It's so unbalanced. Um, actually, Boulevard's pop-up's a pretty good example of, of one that I actually don't dislike because it tries to remain balanced, which is pretty typical for Boulevard. But back to this beer. Um, you would not know this. I, I'll be honest. I actually got quite a bit of this, and um, this is the perfect for. If I was to describe this as what this is perfect for, I play golf, and this is the perfect summer golf beer. Like you're not gonna get shit faced drinking a couple of them. Um, you can sit, pound them through 18, have a pretty good buzz going on, and feel pretty good. I mean, would you rather drink this or like some other? I don't know, 4.1 percent beer. This is this is phenomenal. I mean, for what it is, this is great. Um, I have no idea what the beer advocate rating it is on this. Um, I, I this is definitely an A beer for me. Um, I would probably give this a 90. 495 um right in there i mean that's that's where i'm at with this which for a 4.1 percent blonde beer is freaking phenomenal for me i am glad i got a lot of this and i want to drink all of it um yeah no this is this is great this is available i think still currently um, from Treehouse. I mean, they brew this. They brew a couple different versions of this. Citra is the only one I believe I've had. I know they make it with Galaxy as well, which would probably be pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, they, you know, it's... Wow. Sometimes it's just hard to describe a beer for me with something like this because it's, it's so much better than it should be, if that makes sense. I mean... Like just drinking as it's warming a little bit, you're still like that. It's as with a lot of these beers and these IPAs. Like my recommendation, and and this is something I got from Nick and Joe. Um, what cheers beer reviews is Nick and then Joe at Jow's Arcade. Um, with these, like if you just kind of take them out, and let them sit for a little bit, like 20, 30 minutes, it really just those beers just open up with these like fruity hops. It just becomes a completely different beast. Um, I remember Treehouse Curiosity 18, like when that came to room temperature, it was a religious experience. I mean, that, that at room temperature is probably my favorite beer drinking experience so far this year. But it's the same with this, is it opens up, like it just opens up as it warms. I'm, I mean, it's just, it's great. It's great. I don't know what else to say about it. So we'll stick with a 94, 95 on it. I won't keep rambling as I could. I just, sometimes you just get surprised by a style. You don't, you don't expect it to be as good as it is. So um, if you like to try something like this like trade for it um it's not trading for anything crazy um it's a pretty easy to get beer for them it's not something that sells out instantly like julius and green and hey well he's kind of sticks around a little bit but or like morning delight or good morning it's going crazy right now um yeah get some I, it's it, it's pretty pretty easy to get might even be persuaded if you i am me i might in your local i might be able to get you a can or something but yeah no um 94 95 I'll figure it out as this warms a little more where I'm going to end up with it, but right in that range. And, um, yeah, check it out. Another winner from Treehouse. I love it. I wish they were down the road for me. I really do. So if they want to open a satellite brewery, I'd be happy to manage it for them. Um, and they can just open it up down the street here, and uh, we'll make it happen. But um, anyway, so another killer beer from them. Um, thank you for watching Behind the Bar Beer Review number 17 for Treehouse Eureka with Citra. Um, thanks for watching the videos. As I always say, feel free to subscribe, but please leave comments. Let me know what you think, any feedback, or if you've had this beer, let me know what you thought, um, or if you've had something similar, your thoughts on session beers like this and what you think for the kind of the aim that brewers have with these. So um, start a discussion. It's, it's fun. So um, stay tuned. I think I'm doing a couple other reviews this week. Um, I might have something lined up for tomorrow that might be pretty cool. I have a beer coming this week that I'm stoked for. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I expect like 15 minutes of me just basically getting down on my knees and praying to the beer. Um, so we'll see. That, that should be this week, so check back. But uh, thanks again, guys, um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.